experience you have ever had, everything you have ever done, everything you have ever learned has brought you to this moment as you now stand before these witnesses who take each other as husband and wife. New experiences lie before you with opportunities to grow deeper in love with each other as you talk hand in hand into the future, cherish each moment as a gift, a gift given to strengthen the bond between you. Who gives this woman? Her mother and I do. You may be seated. Jesus shows his smiling face. There is 
and blessing of mutual respect. You have invited these guests to share in the celebration of your love, a love that now culminates in your union as husband and wife. When you enter into marriage, you enter into life's most important relationships. It is a gift given to you to bring comfort when there is sorrow, peace when there is unrest, laughter when there is unhappiness, and love when it is shared. Real love goes far beyond the feelings of romance and bliss. It is caring more about the well-being and happiness of your marriage partner than your own needs and desires. Love makes you burdened lighter because you divided them. It makes you stronger so you can become involved with life in ways you dare not risk alone. Real love says you are stronger together than you are apart. A successful marriage is not something that just happens. It takes work and it takes effort. Most importantly, it takes a commitment from both you, both of you. A good marriage must be created. Sean and Sharon, you are about to make promises to one another today. These vows are beautiful words representing even more beautiful intentions. You will find that as you live these vows over the years, investing your time, your love, and commitment to one another, the happy times of your life will be twice as joyous. Because there will be someone with you whom to share these joys. And when life gets tough, it will only be half as bad because there will be someone by your side to help carry the burden. According to the word of God in 1 Corinthians, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always preserves. Love never fails. Keep these cherished words of mine throughout your lives together.
ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. After all, no one ever hated their own body, but they feed, but they feed and care for their body, just as Christ does the church. For we are all members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This is a profound uh, mystery. But I am talking about Christ and the church. Whoever each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself, and his wife must respect her husband. John and Sharon, we now set our vow. I, Sharon, give myself to you, Sean, on this our wedding day. I will cherish our friendship and love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust and honor you. I will love you faithfully through the best and the worst, through the difficult and the easy. What may come, I will be there always. As I have given you my hand to hold, so I will give my life for you. I, Sean, take you, Sharon, to be my partner in life. I promise to walk by your side forever and to love, help, and encourage you in all that you do. I will take time to talk with you, to listen to you, and to care for you. I will share your laughter and your tears as your husband your lover and best friend. Everything I am and everything I have is yours, now and forevermore. Now we have a song. From Mr. Aaron Harwell. God give us Christian hope. God give us Christian hope. Homes where the Bible is loved and taught. Homes where the pastor's will is sought. Homes crowned with beauty your love has wrought. God give us Christian homes. God give us Christian homes. God give us Christian homes. Homes where the Father is true and strong. Homes that are free from the blind of wrong. Homes that are joyous with love and song. God give us Christian homes. God give us Christian homes. God give us Christian homes. Homes where the Father in caring quest strives to show others your way is best. Homes where the Lord is an honored guest. God give us Christian homes. God give us Christian homes. God give us Christian homes. Homes where the children are left to know. Christ in his beauty who loves them so. Homes where the altar fires burn and glow. God give us Christian homes. God give us Christian homes. Right through. Today you join your separate lives together. The two separate bottles of the sand symbolize your separate lives, separate families, and separate set of friends. They represent all that you are and all that you will ever be as individuals. They also represent your lives before today. As these two containers of sand are poured into the third container, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into the individual containers, so will your family be. ring is a symbol of eternity. It is an outward sign of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two hearts in endless love. Now as a token of your love and your deep desire to be forever united in a heart and soul. Sean, 
you may place the ring on the finger of your bride. John, please repeat after me. Sharon, Sharon, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. Faithfulness to you. By the same token. By the same token. Sharon. Sharon, you may place the ring on the finger. Oh. <laughs> By the same token, Sharon, you may place the ring on the finger of your groom and please repeat after me. Sean, Sean, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a token of my love. As a token of my love and faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. Sean and Sharon, because you have committed yourselves to each other in marriage and demonstrated this by exchanging your vows and giving each other rings, I now pronounce you husband and wife. John Father in heaven, the occasion that brings us together here today is yet another occasion for us to be reminded of what a great God and what a good Father you are to all of us. This day is a good day, Lord, and our hearts are filled with joy at the opportunity we have to share in the joy of this occasion with Sean and Sharon. And we know that none of this would be possible without you. It is you who has given us the life and health of our designed to create this most blessed experience in the home. As your word tells us, Father, at the beginning, you recognized that it would not be good for man to be alone. And so the first thing you did to address this potential problem for the man it was you who joined that first couple in the But you have provided guidance to the women for successful continuance throughout life. You have stated your will for a marriage in which a wife respects her husband and his authority, even as the husband recognizes his obligation to deal with and live with his wife with understanding and love and regard for her. And throughout history, men have been able to see that the greatest successes in this relationship are enjoyed by those who remember where their greatest allegiance must be. And with that in mind, Father, it is our desire that you will help both Sean and Sharon to always keep each other as the second most important person in their lives. For it is their ultimate faithfulness to you and their relationship with you that will provide the greatest guarantee of their faithfulness to each other and to their marriage. And now, O oh God, as we witness these two begin their lives as husband and wife this day, it is certainly the prayer of each person here who loves you and loves them that we will be an encouragement to them to serve you and serve one another in the coming years. But not only this, Father, we look forward to taking encouragement from them as they work and grow in their love for one another and thus remind each of us of the joy we should continually take in the very existence of this institution you have created. And for those of us fortunate enough to be involved in this institution ourselves, the privilege of being husbands and wives. The Bible as well as human experience demonstrates to us that life is better when it is lived according to your guidelines, Father, and within your parameters. That your ways are the best ways and reveal to us for our good. We thank you for this and ask for your help as we strive to live out our lives in accordance with these ways. And we certainly ask this in a special way for Sean and Sharon this day. We thank you and we love you, God, for the good things of life you give us, including this blessing of marriage. May you bless the Simmons and bless us all. 
And we offer this prayer in the name of God and by the authority of our Lord and King, Jesus the Christ. And amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Simmons. <laughs> Thank you. 